welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I make my butter using my stand mixer. It's super easy, super quick, and the best thing about it, you don't have to have a milk cow to make your own butter. You don't even have to have access to fresh cream to make your butter. You can make butter using heavy whipping cream from the store. And it's easy, it's fast, it's not complicated. All you need is just heavy whipping cream, a stand mixer, and a little bit of time. So I'm gonna to share today how I make it, and hopefully you can make it, and you'll see how easy it is, and you can have yummy, fresh butter anytime you want it. So you're gonna start by adding your cold cream to your mixing bowl. I'm using a the wire whisk attachment. It helps fluff everything up. So this doesn't have to be room temperature. A lot of times it works better cold. And you can even make this in a blender. My mom makes her better in a blender. My blender, for whatever reason, can't get the cream past whipped cream, so I use my mixer. But if you have a pretty stout blender, you can probably use that to make butter as well. So then, you're just gonna turn it on. I like to cover mine with a tea towel because it does make a pretty big mess everywhere. And I promise you this tea towel is clean. It's just stained beyond redemption. So I'll turn it on, I'll turn it on high and just leave it for a while. So it'll get to the whipped cream stage first. Then after the whipped cream stage, it'll start looking grainy and you know you're well on your way to making butter. After the whipped cream stage and the grainy stage, you'll notice it'll start to turn yellow and start trying to separate. Keep going past this. You want it to be where the butter fat completely separates from the cream and there'll actually be chunks of butter floating in the buttermilk, the liquid that's left behind. So super easy. Like I said, I like to keep a tea towel covering it up because it does make a mess. And I'll show you what it looks like at each stage. So when I say grainy, when it starts to look grainy, this is what I'm talking about. It's super fluffy and it's starting to get a little bit gritty. The uh, butter fat is finally starting to separate a little bit from the rest of the cream. If you need to, from time to time, you can stop the mixer and scrape the whipped cream down from the sides with the spatula just to make sure everything is turning to butter at the same time. Here you can see how it is just starting to separate. It's looking nice and yellow and there's little chunks. Now you need to keep going past this point because while it's almost there, we're not there quite yet. This is one of my most favorite parts of making butter because you can see literally the instant that the butter lets go from the buttermilk and all of a sudden there's all these little bits of butter floating around everywhere. And there we have the butter. You can see that it's completely separate from the liquid. It's beautiful and yellow. And now we get to wash it. You have to get all of the buttermilk, which is the liquid left over, as much of the buttermilk out of the butter as you can so that your butter will stay fresh tasting and it won't taste sour. I'll let it run just a little bit longer to let the butter clump together and become more of a solid mass before I start washing it and trying to get it out of the buttermilk. So I may let it go just a minute or two more just to get it to clump together and then I'll start washing.
this point, I have switched over to my flat beater attachment for my mixer, and we're gonna wash the butter. So we're gonna take our butter and put it back in our mixing bowl. And we're going to wash it with ice water. Just pour ice water in the bowl and let the beater work. And we're trying to get all of the extra buttermilk that's in it worked out. The goal is to get the water in the butter as clear as possible. That way we know that almost all of the buttermilk is gone. So what we'll do is we'll just put the butter in, add some ice water, and cut the mixer on. You can see that the water is cloudy here. So we'll let it go for a minute more and then dump this water out, add fresh, let it go, dump it out, add fresh over and over and over until the water is clear. Cold water works best because it makes the fat molecules in the butter get hard. You know, you put butter in the fridge, it gets hard. You use cold water and it makes the butter harden up. You want it to do this because that will help push the rest of the buttermilk out. You can see here it's a little less cloudy. So this is after the second batch of water was added. So we'll just keep doing this until the water is as close to clear as we can get it. So this is the butter water at, I believe this is the third water change. So you can see how it's almost clear. This is after the fifth water change and I'm gonna call this good. This is close enough for me, I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna dump this out and then we'll salt the butter. So it's very easy to over salt your butter. But for this batch, you only need about, about a fourth of a teaspoon of butter. So you'll just use your same mixing bowl and everything. Just dump your salt in and then whip it again. Um, salt a little bit, taste it, and then adjust as necessary. It's much better to not have enough salt because you can always add to, but you cannot take away. So just salt a little bit, taste it, and tweak it to your liking. So what do you do with your buttermilk that's left over? You can use this in your baking. You can use it for pancakes, waffles, biscuits, cakes, you name it. It is not cultured buttermilk yet. You can actually buy buttermilk at the store, add a little bit to this, give it a couple days, and then it will turn into cultured buttermilk. I haven't done it, so I'm not sure on the exact method, but I probably will sometime in the future. But don't pour this out. You can use it in anything that calls for buttermilk and is just a really great way to not waste things and use it up in your baking and it'll make fabulous biscuits, pancakes, you name it, it'll be awesome. Thanks for joining me today while I made butter. I hope you are inspired and you make some of your own. If you do, let me know in the comments how it turns out. You can add all kinds of stuff to this. You can make a honey butter. You can do a garlic herb butter. I mean, there's no end. This is just your regular salted butter base. You can go anywhere with it. Cinnamon butter, you name it. You can portion it up into half cup measurements and that will be equivalent to a stick of butter. You can use this in anything that you would buy, you would use store-bought butter in. Thanks for joining me for this week's video. I will see you again next week with another video. If you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe. It lets me know you enjoy the content that I'm sharing. And you can also follow me on Instagram. I post there a couple times a week. I'll put my Instagram handle at the bottom of the screen. But thank you so much again for joining me for this video. I'll see you again next week. Bye.